you've seen it on Twitter and Discord when people have the .eth at the end of their username, that's the ENS domain generally connected to their wallet. ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service. ENS is similar to a DNS domain that you might know from Web 2.0, but in Web 3.0, we have a decentralized version of that called the ENS Domains. ENS domains basically translate your wallet address, that's a string of numbers and letters. That hexadecimal is pretty difficult to remember. Instead, you can now replace it with your ENS domain. Before you continue, I'd like to just ask you for a favor. Please like this video, maybe subscribe to the Lucky Trader DeFi and NFT podcast, two podcasts a week on Mondays and Thursdays. Now we got that over with, let me show you how to create an ENS domain name to connect to your Ethereum wallet. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you go to apps.ens.domains. Here you'll be able to search for which ENS domains are available for purchase. Let me show you how it looks first with something that's already been purchased. So I have bluedog.eth. Mine shows with the blue bar because I own it and it says it's unavailable on the right side and tells you when it's going to expire. Now let's go back and check a different one. So lucky blue. This one I don't own. However, it's gray on the left side and shows as unavailable until 2025 as someone else has already purchased this one. Now if we go back, let's try another one. Denver-Colorado.eth, you'll notice it has a green bar on the left, indicating that it's still available for purchase. So let's click in there. One thing you'll notice is there's a registration period here, and it shows the price to pay for that registration. If you decrease in the number of years, the price will go down. If you increase, the price goes back up. Say you wanted to get this for 20 years, you would be able to do it for 0 0.036 ETH plus gas. I'm just gonna switch this and make it for one year. All of the three digit and three letter ENS names have already sold out. Those were the most expensive ones. Then you have the four digit ENS names, which are also expensive, more expensive than five. Anything over five characters is going to cost this rate, the 0 0.002 ETH for the one year plus gas fees. Now what you want to do is you're going to click request to register. Your MetaMask is going to pop up. You're going to approve this transaction, only $6 for that first transaction. You're going to wait as it processes that transaction. Now, after that first transaction has processed, you will go to step two, which is just confirming that that name, that username has not already been purchased in this amount of time it took for me to go search through and request to register. Once that's all confirmed, you can complete the registration and click register in this third step. Your MetaMask will pop up once again, and here's where you're going to pay that gas fee. In this case, it's about $48, so not too expensive when you consider you're having this identification for a full year. Wait for that transaction to be processed on Ethereum's blockchain, transaction is confirmed. So we'll go and try to set this as the primary ENS name attached to this wallet address. As you can see, I currently have this primary ENS name called a reverse record. And this is actually connected to my subdomain, bluedog.pcc.eth. If you click in there, you'll be able to select one of your ENS names, that will be the Denver-Colorado that we just named, and you'll be able to save that as so. MetaMask will pop up, and you will be paying one more gas fee. In this case, it's only about $12 to set this as your record. Once that processes, now you'll see that my primary ENS name has been switched to Denver-Colorado.eth. Now we have an ENS domain name attached to our Ethereum wallet. Also, follow us on Twitter, where we're going to be posting other videos like this at LuckyTraderHQ, and then you can follow our news feed at LuckyNFTNews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.